All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, guys? I see box back again for E three E three twenty twelve. Uh, you just saw Modern Warfare three, and now we're showing Halo four. So uh, if you guys can hear this, hopefully. But this is um E three, and uh, so yeah, guys, enjoy Halo four. Pretty hands on. Why define it as just three? Who knows where this is going to go? Okay, so this is a new saga. What's the setting? The setting is a, a, a mysterious born planet that we call Requiem. And this is a planet that Master Chief and Cortana uh, find themselves uh, stranded on after their ship, the, the forward unto dawn, crash lands. Okay. And, and but, uh, of course, the, the natives are friendly. They love them. Always, Master Chief yeah. Cortana, they greet them with fruits and berries. In a shooter, in the park, that's exactly what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. So there's no fighting whatsoever. It's a radical departure. Yeah, it's all love and hugs <laughs> and kisses. No, these bad guys are both Prometheans? Prometheans, yeah. What's, what's their deal? So this is the first time that you've seen a, a complete uh, new enemy class that's been introduced in a Halo game since the beginning of the series. So this was one of the, the biggest new things that we wanted to bring to the table. And we've spent a lot of time working on these enemies and really crafting them as, as a group that works together in, in combination so that as you're facing one enemy, you have a certain challenge, but as you begin to later go on, they complement one another and really challenge the player in dynamic ways. And I saw some from some of the press conference stuff that they have, you know, you would be badly a Prometheum, if, if, if you will, and then they would spawn another ancillary character that provides a shield for them or provides yeah. cover or something. So what we saw was the Prometheum Knight, who's sort of the main commander on the battlefield, okay. and he's able to spawn uh, what we call Watchers, which are these support units. And the Watchers can do all kinds of cool things. They can shield uh, the Promethean Knight, they can catch grenades and throw them back to solid. Oh yeah. shit, Halo uh, 4! Oh, oh motherfuckers! So they're, they're kind of, you know, Fucking they're love Halo. Well. If you want to take them out as quickly as possible. And then, in addition to that, you've got these, uh, these oh. Uh, creatures that we call Oh them. shit! And crawlers are kind of hack-like creatures, and, and they're not too tough when you're dealing with them one-on-one. Halo uh, 4! You get swarmed by 20 yeah. of them, and then a knight spawns, then you crap yourself to the sort of the run. Exactly. Yeah, of course you do. Um, so this is this is a live Why is the aimer all the way in Kingdom Come? Uh, is this, is this a what the really fuck? Uh, you mean in terms of where, in terms of story, uh, we're we're just I need to fix that a little bit. I don't want to give away too many secrets. I do though. So yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> Whatever you want to but, say. Uh, yeah, this is this is I would say not right at the beginning of the campaign okay. experience, but it's not too far. So we're a little in. Yeah. All right. And then but, you know, I look at this and, and I see. Halo has a unique look, it has a unique feel. People have yes. tweeted, they say, uh, give us that tried and true. Alright, uh, why is that all the way in the bottom say. left? So give us a completely new experience. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's you as, okay, this is, this is part of poor tried and true Halo. We have to have these in our game, and where do you take your liberties? Well, I think we can kind of look at what are the, you know, kind of the, the core pillars of the Halo experience. Change the value. One of the big ones there is, is sandbox, and giving the player a lot of freedom, and really empowering him to make choices, and then pay those all right, now they still got to make some adjustment. What the fuck? They still need to make some adjustments, but holy fuck. Well, please learn us on these newfangled weapons and abilities. Yeah, so you do see a couple in, in the demo here. Uh, they sort of, sort of form together as you pick them up, that's, which is a really nice touch. That's something, yeah, sort of unique to the core of the weapons is that they can adapt themselves to the user. Um, and so in that way, you know, they sort of form into a, 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 a master key can use. Um, so the first one, I believe, that you saw that hopefully we'll see pretty soon here, is, uh, is something we call the light rifle. Um, and the light rifle is uh, is an energy-based uh, weapon that can fire either a triple shot burst or a single very powerful shot when you're scoped in. So okay. it's a unique weapon for Halo in that regard. Do, do most of the weapons have that sort of all-fire mode when scoped or when selected, or is that... No, that, that Alright, so what I can see here is... Basically, as I'm going to talk and shut these guys up from you guys just for a minute. What I can see here in this E3 2012 for Halo. I can see, you know, you can see a lot of... Sorry, guys. Um, you can see a lot... Oh, shit. That was scary as fuck. Um, no, nah, it wasn't that scary. But it was pretty cool. Oh, shit. So, I can see a lot of Halo 3... But I can also see a lot of, uh, a little, 
bit of Halo Reach mixed in there. So I, these aren't Covenant anymore. I'm gonna miss the Covenant. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a little, it's a little bit of both. I personally, in my Halo game, want Halo Three more than Halo Reach in there. Just cause I'm not, they gotta fix this target. I'm not shooting like that. But uh, I'm not a whole a bunch of a Halo Reach fan. It was a great game, don't get me wrong. But I want them to go back to Halo 3 style. The game we all loved. And oh my golly. That's a pretty epic sniper rifle. As you see here. But um, yeah, definitely... Definitely upgraded uh, Master Chief. And sorry, guys, if my camera sometimes goes down. I've been trying to watch it on the TV as well. But, um, yeah, we can see a new em enemy here. Uh, he's flying thin things. Oh, what was that? That was a pretty cool grenade. Um, geez, sorry, guys, again. Then you can see the shooting. Is that? Oh, I thought that was a sniper right but must be some kind of three round burst. Yeah, they definitely gotta fix that targeting. I'm not shooting like that. But um Yeah, it looks freaking awesome, so let's hear these guys a little bit more. So you as a player in this on board the infinity, you create your own Spartan, and then you can either go to war creating your own Spartan which is your traditional Halo competitive side. And then this new mode that we call Spartan Ops that allows you to then deploy live operations and go through a series of missions. Um, and so each week we're delivering an episode of a CG series that tells a story, and along with that, five missions that go live, so that over the course of the season of play, you're getting you know just a ton of content. And that's all for the low, low price of bloodletting directly into our console. It's right. All, no, it's it's actually all included in uh, in the Halo Four package. So it's right. all Halo Four. That's sick. If you guys just heard that. Advisor. Shit. So basically, what this allows teams and player to do is see through solid objects. Alright, guys, well, I hope you enjoy the Halo 4. Now, they gotta remember keep it Halo. Don't go Call of Duty Halo on me. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Halo 4 E3 video coverage from IC Box all week long and E3 pumped for this week so excited so guys I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next for the next uh, gameplay for it's probably gonna be a Sasquatch 3 alright